Hello, it's me, Penny, the Have A Go Gardener. Ah, take a deep breath. Can you smell it? It's spring. And with it, a new season of My Garden Podcast coming soon. But in the meantime, some more of the juicy best bits from season one. I came into the garden after a weekend away. Got back, sprang into the garden. Ooh, look, isn't it lovely? Oh, the bloody sunflowers died. That's the bad news. Nothing more dramatic. Sorry, I was building, I was building the part up a little bit more, wasn't I? But um, yeah, I sprang out into the garden. Brilliant, lovely day. I'm going to do a bit of... Ooh, what's happened to the two metre high sunflower or seven or eight foot tall sunflower? Let me show you what I mean. I'm just going to bring my red wine with us. I don't think that's a problem. It's a Sunday night. I've made a roast dinner. I've been a hard-working girl all day. I'm going to have a little, a little sip. Yeah, so this beautiful sunflower is just was, when I left it, glorious, absolutely glorious. It had a big, going to be big dinner plate head on it. And honestly, I'm five foot two and it stands at, I'd say, getting on for eight foot. Which is flipping impressive, I have to say. It was like a show sunflower. I got to it a few days ago and it's wilted. Nothing is wrong with it. It's still strong in the ground. It's not been blown over, and we did have a few gales over the, over the time I was away. But the leaves have wilted, they've all gone brown. It's like its water supply suddenly was cut off. And I am really sad about it. So I was obviously jumped to the conclusion that it was sabotage from a, from a sunflower competitor. I don't know, my fantasy head about entering it into a show. There was some competitor had come and like damaged it while we're away. That was ridiculous though, isn't it? Um, <laughs> and why wouldn't they just rip it out or chop it up, right? So that's not happening. I'm talking quite a lot about this, aren't I? I'm very passionate about this sunflower. And I'll tell you why. Because not only do I feel like I've goofed it and not given it the water it needs and it died. But I was having a cup of tea today. Just happened to glance up at it because I didn't pull it out the ground immediately. I wanted to show my husband it and go, "Oh my God, look at the look at the devastation!" Right? It's it's flower. It's flowering. It's flowering, and not only that, there's another flower. It's going to be a double header. So I sprang to the, the hose and gave it a massive drink. Not just a good drink, a massive drink direct to the soil. And I'm going to pay close attention to it. I've snipped off the, the brown, poor, dry, crispy leaves. And um, there's a few left up here. I can't... See how crunchy that is? I can't reach them to cut them off. So they're just going to have to... God, that's just awful. Stay there. But behind them are new, is new growth. So I have everything crossed for my poorly sunflower. I can only say sorry to it. Sorry, sunflower. It was lovely knowing you, but fingers crossed you might just develop and rise from the ashes. So today we're in tomato emergency room, tomato ER, and we are tackling what is can only be described as a stunted growth situation. My mum Delia has been called in, frankly using the lure of a roast dinner, but actually I'm here for tomato help. So what we're gonna do is take out this uh, polythene bag. Um, it's a bin liner, so it's a big flat piece of plastic, basically anything you can get would be great. And we're going to gently tip out the tomato plant, which is in quite a big pot now. It's been repotted and on it should be going to just check its roots. Mum says roots are like the heart of a plant, so um, we're gonna check that the roots are normal. I'm assuming they are, so let's find out. Ah. Oh my God, okay. There's no root, now that root That's weird. should be out almost to the side of the so pot by now. this is a tomato plant, tomato variety called Alicante, which is a kind of big cherry tomato, small, you know, really normal salad tomato. Me. This a plant this size should have roots out here by now. What sort of like? Little, it's um what um. Can you see how that is? The tip of that is white there. Yes. 
that's how it should be but by now it should be wide enough out to have little hairs growing out of those roots. No wonder the plants aren't growing. Exactly. The only thing you could do now is maybe put some little stone... Oh, hold on, what's Hang that? Hang on. Oh. What we got oh. here? It's small and it's curly. Do you want to put that animal, beast, insect onto that bit of cardboard? Okay. Careful it doesn't get loose in the house. So my dad's inside. He doesn't uh, move about that much at the moment. So... He is the bug expert, and I'm hoping he'll be he'll be able to diagnose the problem. It could just be a one-off type insect rather than a plague through the compost. Yeah, so we'll we'll await the diagnosis on what's been eating the tomato plant. And fingers crossed, if it makes it through the night, I'll be happy. So what did he what did he say? Oh, okay. I've evidently this is a wireworm oh but that's its name that we use uh, okay. we, obviously it's not the correct name and we need to look it up in your gardening book for pests or whatever but or maybe even google it and find out uh, what it's called and um, does do we know what the hazards are around having and yeah. associating with wireworms yes they eat roots that's their job yes right okay <laughs> <laughs> what they develop into I don't know I'm I'm interested to find out She's a natural, isn't she, broadcaster? Can I go? You can go, yes. So if we just look at this pot, grey pot, with a blueberry plant in it, I am loving the fact that for the first time in a number of years, this plant is actually giving a million blueberries on it. It's wonderful. They're all green at the moment. I'm not going to even try to eat one, but they're all fattening up and getting more purple as they go. Now, the history of, well, the history of this relationship is that it's been a little, um, little ungiving, shall we say. And I've repotted this blueberry plant a number of times and I've been quite intrigued by the fact that its roots haven't really reached right down and filled the pot I, I thought for a while it was pot bound and needed to go into a bigger pot but actually I just picked it up and the roots were barely forming blueberries need ericaceous soil so I've got a bag of that and I've been using that ever since I got it so it's not that but this year it's really grown and the blueberries are arriving and that's wonderful but having done a bit of an internet search on what a blueberry plant should look like it should not look like this so I got excited by the fact that it was growing really tall and I thought oh it's going to be a, a wonderful tree because I'm a naive inexpert amateur gardener apparently you don't really get blueberry trees in the same way that you might get an apple tree you get blueberry bushes which of course makes perfect sense now <laughs> A bit dim sometimes to be honest um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut back the the long legs of it to stop it spending all of its time shooting up to the sky so it can spend more of its energy putting into the fruit that hopefully the birds won't eat before i get to them i might have to net around it in a professional sort of style um i'm not going to go too mad because i might live to regret that and we'll end up with this you know the difficult and complicated relationship that we started with there we go that's much better much more round shape mm. it, it, I, I'm confused by this plant but I'm going to go with it because it's going to yield some nice blueberries but you shouldn't stay in a relationship that is unfulfilling complicated confusing so it just wears you out so I've always given this plant bush <laughs> another year maybe I'm going to get to its final year this year if it doesn't do what I need it to do it's out you shouldn't have those kind of things in your life should you season two of my garden podcast is coming soon and I don't want you to miss the start so don't forget to subscribe wherever you get your podcasts